Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So today for you, we're covering uh, Bloom Lord as our deck of choice for today. Um, now I will say I'm not an overly big expert on Bloom Lord as a uh, as a pilot, but I have played against it more times than I can count. Um, so I know that the deck's ins and outs and its overall strategy and things like that. Um, and in general, I don't think the deck is too, I don't know, I wanna say lenient on the builds that you can do. Um, but there's not a whole lot of variation there, unfortunately. Uh, it's mainly pick these cards because they're super good and they're like best in slot, like no competition for anything else really. And that's a whole lot of what this uh, list is for you guys today. I had to take a big uh, helping hand from my testing partner, Hugo Souls, as he has played the crap out of uh, Bloom Lord. But I did make a couple changes uh, here and there. Not many, but a few. Also, don't forget to check out our Etsy page, link in the description below. There you can find all of our memory markers we featured on the channel in the past, as well as we have tons of new Digimon merch. So if you wanna go check those out, uh, everything there is handmade by my wife, hand painted as well. Uh, we've got some great new acrylics here, work as fridge magnets or um, keychains. Like I hang mine on my bag that I take the locals with me. Super cool, super cute stuff. All right, so as always, I've got the whole deck pulled up for you guys. Uh, we do have some honorable mentions down here at the bottom, so in case you're wondering why there's all this red at the top, don't go crazy on me. I've just added some stuff in at the end as talking points. Um, so first up for our baby here, so if you're not familiar with Bloom Lord, the overall idea is to uh, have one big massive turn of like spamming out a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, everything gets suspended, and you can swing with your Bloom Lord for tons of checks and things like that, or you can can, uh, get out your Hydramon to pass turn as a great defensive tool to basically guarantee that you're going to pass turn back to you as soon as your opponent does anything. Um, so the idea is to play a lot of stuff that is going to help facilitate that um, the spamming of stuff as well as uh, very, very cheap Evos to have such a uh, powerful turn. Uh, so first up for the babies, I went with Cocomon. Uh, when an effect suspends one of your Digimon, draw one. Uh, since basically everything, pr I mean, yeah, pretty much everything level four and up uh, will trigger Cocomon. Uh, I like the consistency uh, aspect of this, that draw. Uh, I can trigger it myself during my own turn. Um, so I really like that. Uh, the consistency is huge. Like I've seen this deck brick more times than I can count. I mean, it's just so wild how bricky it can get, even though it has probably more searchers than any other deck in the game, I think, especially right now. Um, so just the, the Kokomon, I can trigger it on my own terms here. Now, some alternatives that you can also do, there was Gummymon, when an opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, draw one. So that my issue with this is the opponent could sort of play around it if they don't put anything on board. Um, like in our feature match, I had Greymon. So Greymon just literally sat in the breeding area until it was in level five and ready to promote in full like OTK. And that was the only target I ever gave them. Um, so, you know, Gummymon, you can't really, you know, you have to rely on your opponent playing into it. So I'm not a huge fan, although I do like the alt art of Gummymon from EX2 a lot more. It's unfortunate. Um, but the Kokomon, you're pretty much guaranteed to trigger this yourself, like without a doubt. And if you have multiple Kokomons, of course, then you're going to trigger them all at once. So that's good stuff. Uh, Argomon is usually my go-to baby of choice for a lot of decks. Just that uh, when it becomes unsuspended during your unsuspend phase, gain one memory. That just allows for your uh, more explosive turns, right? Um, but the issue is... Usually when your opponent is attacking or whatever, uh, the turn after you've you know promoted, you've done a combo of sorts, whether you're, you went full combo or a partial combo, uh, if you went partial, then there's a good chance the target of choice for them to kill was gonna be the one with the Argomon. Um, of course, depending on what else they have on field, if they chose to Evo their stack up somewhere else, uh, you know maybe they don't go for the Argomon, but I would say most of the time, like three out of four times, they go for Ar whoever the Argomon is suspended. And it has to be suspended because you have to unsuspend to get the memory. If it's not suspended, then it's not you know anything to worry about and they're not gonna get the memory. So it's basically a dead uh, baby. 
So that's why I decided not to go with the Argomon and uh, the Cocomon instead. All right, moving on from there, though, these next few are going to be pretty obvious. Just uh, the on play, reveal four, add one vegetation or plant and one fairy, uh, and then bottom deck everything else. So really good searcher for this deck. Most everything is vegetation or plant, and then your main stuff at the end here, uh, like Bloom Lord, is going to be fairy. So that's very, very powerful. So you can always make sure, you know, you can grab your top end. You don't have to, you know, trade off. Do I grab top, uh, the top end or the, the stack? So you can get definitely get a stack as well as um, the top end. Uh, Lollamon here, though, is the BT-13 kind of updated version. Uh, reveal three, add one vegetation plant or fairy, and one Yoshino among them. So this is going to grab your memory fixer for the deck. We have switched off of the memory fixer Mimi, finally, after all these years. So uh, Yoshino works very very well for this deck again the idea is to be one single explosive turn um rather than like um i don't know i don't know how to say it but like instead of like otks or, or something like that is like a pseudo otk in a way but not quite um but yeah so yoshino is going to help make our turns more efficient um because they help reduce or gain memory reduce evo cost or gain this memory uh, inheritable when this digimon would digivolve into a uh into it would digivolve if you have a green tamer reduce the digivolution cost by one so again really helpful if you play this grab the yoshino and then when you you know the level four has the evo because this is an inheritable so it has to the level four has to be on it and then evo into a level five to trigger that inheritable but still very very solid uh we have the new bt14 palwan i think this is maybe the weakest spot in the uh in the deck in the out of rookies here the other two are like obvious four ofs um this one i debated doing like a trade-off maybe two of this and two of something else um you know something like here just as an example here on the fly doing stuff let's go with sure we'll do we'll do this one something like that instead like a 2-2 uh split basically a, a a tech card is what I wanted to say. Um, so this Palmon is really cool. Start of your main phase, one of your opponent's Digimon gains all turns when this Digimon becomes suspended, lose two memory until the end of the turn. So you could promote this out of raising area, put this effect on one of your opponent's Digimon, and then when you start comboing off and you uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then you tr they'll trigger this Palmon here and you know, you'll basically essentially gain two memory. It says they lose two, and it's basically here to help avoid uh, memory blockers uh, from, you know, you gaining memory because it's just you, they lose two memory, and there's not anything like that in the game that stops that kind of an effect. So this allows you for a more explosive turn. Uh, and then inher Inheritable, your turn once per turn when this Digimon would Digivolve, if you have a green Tamer, reduce the Digivolution cost by one. That's what I really like about this, because it's like another Lollamon here um, with that Inheritable, because sometimes you can't really get this effect off. I've I've really like struggled to get this effect um, because of uh, the opponent not playing into it. So it's kind of frustrating. Or um, everything is suspended on their field so they don't have anything unsuspended for me to you know do that effect to but the inheritable is still great now one of the the choice uh tech options here you can go with all turns players can't play digimon by effects this is a double-edged sword if i've ever seen one um this is like running psychmon and bl star can't reduce play cost right um so this can't play Digimon by effects. You do a lot of that in this deck. However, there are other decks in the format that do a lot of that as well. One, the mirror match, but also Commandramon. If you've played against the new D Brigade, that is a spammy as crap deck. Oh my God, can they spam the field? And having this in here for that matchup, if that you know becomes more of a, a predominant thing, then you might want to tech this in. Now, there are some other choices out there. Again, you might want to uh, stick with vegetation because your searchers hit vegetation, uh, you know, plant or fairy types. So when you're looking at your tech cards, you know, I, I recommend picking something that fits into that. Uh, there's this one, all turns when an effect suspends this Digimon, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon for a little bit more control uh, side of it. So you can, you know, play this guy out for free and then Digizorp, so suspend him to Digizorp. Uh, and that'll trigger his, you know, effect there, which is pretty nice. Um, but I think there's more powerful cards to play. There's this Palmon for more consistency that start of your turn, draw one. Uh, you know, it's not a bad one to promote 
or this isn't even promote this is start of your turn so you can't even promote this at a raising area like you can on the other palmon it's not start of main phase so uh, that's a bit awkward there uh, so you basically have to play her out and then just leave her like again if you're play her out for free and then you suspend her like with a digi's option and then she just sits there and the opponent doesn't bother taking her out for some reason sure you might get a little bit of an effect there but again i think there's better choices to go with and of course there's terrier mon for uh, a memory blocker but he is a beast type so he does not fit uh in the searches at all so i really don't recommend terrier mon but I do want to at least mention him because memory blockers are always really nice to have uh depending on the format it is also very uh format dependent um but I think the the only secondary one I, I kind of like is the Pomumon, but it, like I said, it can be super, super dangerous. Here, I'll, I'll do it like that just so you can get the idea of, I highly recommend the Palmon over the Pomu. Uh, the main effect here can be difficult to trigger on Palmon, but the Inheritable is probably still worth to run. All right, uh, that took a long time to explain rookies. Uh, Sunflowmon here, our first... Uh, Champion, we've got Wind Digivolving by suspending one of your green Digimon. You may play one Digimon card with Vegetation, Plant, or Fairy in one of its traits, uh, and 3,000 DP or less from your hand without uh, without its play cost. Paying its play cost. Man, I can word so good tonight. Uh, 3K or less, right? So if you look at our whole level 4 package, it's all 3K, and of course our rookies as well. So we can Evo this you can suspend itself or one of your other Digimon, and then you get to play out another body. So that's really powerful. And then Inheritable, when an effect suspends one of your Digimon draw a card, so more consistency stuff. Uh, keep in mind, if you Digisorption this and go into a level 5, you don't get that draw because you have to have... The Inheritable has to be online before uh, you know you, you Digivolve um, to get that effect there. Uh, next up, we got the new BT-13, Sunflowmon. Uh, main, by suspending this Digimon, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into a Digimon with Fairy in one of its traits and in hand for the Digivolution cost. Uh, when it would Digivolve by this effect, reduce the Digivolution cost by two. Um, not bad, but it can be a little bit more difficult to trigger, depending on what you are running. Um, but the Inheritable here is when this Digimon would Digivolve, if you have a Green Tamer, reduce the Digivolution cost by one. So that's nice. Um, so again, reducing costs and stuff like that. But by suspending this Digimon, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into a Digimon Carter Fairy in one of its traits. Most people think, okay, use this to go into uh, Lilamon, the level five that plays out Yoshino. I was running her at first, but then I ended up dropping her. Uh, the idea is to generally go into her off of this effect. However, if you play this Sunflowmon for free, off of something like this Sunflowmon, and then you Evo up to your level five, then you can uh, use this main effect, because it's not a wind digivolving, a main effect, suspend her, and then you can go into your Bloom Lord fairy type. So that's it's really nice that you don't have to digivolve this specific Digimon. It can be uh, you know any of your Digimon that's going to Evo into a fairy type. It can be a reduced cost. So keep that in mind, really, really good stuff. And again, memory efficient and hairable. I went with the new Togemon as our uh, third level four. This is, I would say, the biggest flex spot for the deck is what level four you want to run here. Uh, most of the other stuff wasn't too relevant. Like, there's no point in running Ed Vegemon because it's a vanilla when you could just run this and get an actual effect that could be viable. Uh, your turn once per turn. When you play a green tamer card from your hand by suspending one of your green Digimon, reduce the play cost by three. That's super fantastic. Um, thankfully, it's not gain memory, because if you use this in conjunction with something that played a tamer for free and gain three memory, well, that would be disgusting. But reduce the play cost by three. Very, very powerful. And it's just a your turn once per turn. Um, so by suspending one of your green Digimon, again, doesn't even have to be this one. It can be any of your Digimon. You can suspend it and play that for free. Really good in conjunction with the new Mimi, who is a three play cost. So good stuff again you play the togemon out for free it suspends itself to use you know get its effects uh that's nice and then heritable here when this digimon would digivolve into a uh into a digivolve if you have i swear they must have changed the the wording of how they do this because i have that so muscle memoried when this digimon would digivolve if you have a green tamer reduce the digivolution cost by one 
Um, so again, you're going to be super efficient at your digivolving, and that's a whole lot of what we got. The Lalamon, the Palmon, the the, the newer Sunflamon, the Togemon, like all these inheritables are basically get it into your Megas now. So uh, for our level fives here, you're going to see a big trend of digisorption. Basically, you want to go into your level fives for free and then re have a massively reduced Evo cost into your Mega. So that is the, the general strategy that I went with for uh, most of the, the card choices here. Um, the only one that doesn't work with here is the uh, Agitarmon, which uh, is vegetation, so it's not even a fairy type, so you can't use the Sunflower effect on it. But main, once per turn by suspending one of your green Digimon, again, this one or another one, uh, you may play one Digimon card with vegetation, plant, or fairy in its traits, 3,000 DP or less from your hand without, paying, uh, without its play cost. So again, coming back to all this stuff, we've got great effects here. You know, this one also, the Sunflower Mon and the Azure Tar Mon basically doing the same thing, but Sunflower is when digivolving and this one is just main. So you have to keep it on your turn when you digivolve this to get its like most beneficial effects. Um, but pretty easily uh, attainable. Again, we've got stuff like uh, Mimi, the Yoshinos, uh, the Lala Palmon inheritables here. So you can get up into this um, for relatively cheap, and then you play out either your Sunflower Mon, which is going to make your uh, Fairy Evo uh, cheap, or you can go Togemon and play out one of your uh, Tamers for super cheap. So you play this for free, you suspend it, and then play out the Mimi here for free, and then when it affects suspends a Digimon by suspending this Tamer, gain one memory. So you'll help be able to help you uh, make your Bloom Lord uh, a lot cheaper as well. So it, it's all works and it's all super efficient. Uh, and then it's inheritable. Uh, your turn once per turn when it affects suspends one of your Digimon, gain one memory. So again, you're going to Evo on top of the Agitar after that. You're going to make the Evo cost cheap, gain memory, all that stuff. Keep it on your turn. Explosive. Now for the next few, we've got Digisorption 3. So we've got the two one ofs Blossom as well as Argomon that Digisorption 3. So free Evo into level 5s. Game balance, they're like, nah, that's just that's too much. Going forward, all level 5s, the max will be Digisorption minus 2 and no more minus three um, so no more zero evo cost level fives because yeah it was really really good it was super disgusting uh, especially going to like sunflower mon play out something for free and then suspend that thing you just played and go into a level five for free yeah wild um even just going suspending itself and going into itself here going into something like bloom that gains memory back is just so so gnarly um argomon though does have that when attacking you may play one level three green digimon card from your hand suspend it without uh paying its memory cost that's not bad at all here um we get our on play effects which is so crazy so we get our searches off of our palmon and our lalamon um this Palmon, not super relevant here if you're playing the Palmumon. Um, basically, by the time you get to this point, you're playing the Palmumon, you, you full comboed. You're there, you're in your Mega. You don't have to worry about playing anything else for free because your next play is going to pass turn. There's very doubtful that you're going to have a follow-up play that's going to allow you to continue to do stuff. So playing this, um, you know, to pass as like part of your passing of turn not too bad there so it works as well but again the searchers is probably your primary target and they come in suspended which works for great for bloom lord which we'll get into just one second uh cherry mon again digisorption two so they've you know learn from their mistakes uh only digisorption two and opponents turn once per turn when an opponent's digimon attacks you may switch the target to target of attack to one of your suspended digimon it can be anything it can be cherrymon himself or something else uh this is just a great defensive card i, I really do love this cherrymon uh i love the flexibility of it it's like oh you want to attack with something cheap or something with low db fine i'll redirect you into myself so you die it's like oh you're like a huge digimon with like uh security attack plus four uh redirect into that rookie you get nothing like Dang, okay. <laughs> I just lost all that security attack on a rookie. And then the Cherrymon is still just sitting there. Um, 
like ready to go into a mega on the following turn and he himself doesn't even have to be suspended so you could just even if you didn't digisorption into him or you did and you you digisorption like another like a rookie or something and went into him you know you don't have to worry about your opponent running over your cherrymon so you leave your level five uh, on field ready for next turn to go into of course bloom lord mon so when digivolving you may suspend one of your digimon then gain one memory for each suspended digimon with vegetation plant or fairy in one of their traits uh you have in play if you gain two or more memory by this effect suspend this digimon uh or by this effect unsuspend this digimon it gains piercing for the turn so again digisorption for super cheap on all of your level five, so they're all going to suspend themselves. Or you go Agitarmon and you choose himself to suspend himself. Um, so whatever level five you Evo on top of, very easy um, for uh, then to Evo into Bloom and unsuspend himself. Um, because if you uh, gain two or more memories, so it's literally unsuspend himself and one other target. Like absolutely should be no problem to play that out um, or to get that combo off. So. Uh, already a super cheap evo because of all of our inheritables and our tamers and stuff so very often you can go into this guy for zero and then you just plus memory so nothing like evoing into a, a mega and gaining memory like I, I went from two memory i evoed i'm now at six memory that makes sense <laughs> and then you swing with it and you have all this stuff that you played out for free that we've talked about the whole way up here you've got a whole field full of stuff that you played out for free it's all suspended you did like basically paid nothing for any of your evo costs the whole way up here uh for every two suspended digimon you have in play this digimon gets 2000 dp and security tank plus one He's pretty much guaranteed to have that immediately as soon as he comes out. Uh, so 14k security tank plus one, um, but also very easy to go even further than that. Uh, I have him in as a three of. You could also run him as a four of and drop the Hydromon down to a two of. I just wanted to keep it three and three for video's sake here, but probably would do a four and two split. That's just me personally. Uh, because uh, we have the Hydromon for defense, but we also kind of have the Quartzmon for defense as well, so I don't really feel like we need three Hydras as well as two Quartz. It feels like a bit much, so four Bloom makes a little bit more sense for me for that reason. Uh, when Digivolving, you may suspend one Digimon. Uh, all turns, once per turn, when an, effect, uh, when an opponent's Digimon becomes suspended uh, for each other suspended Digimon with Vegetation, Plant, or Fairy in one of their traits you have in play, gain one memory. So you can Evo into this Hydromon for five, uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and the, then you trigger your all turns effects where he suspended something so now I'm going to gain one memory uh, for um, for each other suspended Digimon with fetch so all of my stuff that is suspended that's uh, vegetation plant or fairy I'm going to gain one memory so this five evo cost very easily can be much much cheaper and you might think, well, what if they don't have anything on their field? Uh, well, you kind of don't really want to go into Hydromon then because it's kind of wasted uh, unless you know they're going to promote up from Raising Area and they're going to have something, um, you know, a big threat on field and you don't, and you know they're going to swing with it uh, and you can set up this beforehand, then it might be worth it. Even if you don't gain any memory back, it might still be worth just sticking the Hydromon to pass turn. Uh, and then end of your turn, once per turn, if you have two or more suspended Digimon, uh, with vegetation plant or fairy in one of their traits return one of your opponent's suspended digimon to the bottom of their owner's deck that's nice there's like is there like as long as you got two suspended stuff you're good to rock and roll and bottom deck something of your opponents that's also suspended that you can guarantee that with that wind digivolving effect you you targeted and, and put it there now this was back during ex3 so it's been out for not quite a year, but coming up on it, and you know it's a little outdated. There's so much more protection in the game these days, um, but it's still a very powerful effect. I think it, it is a solid uh, two of for the deck. Uh, next we got Quartzmon, and this is my general thing that I would want to go into. Like I did my Bloom Lord combo, I swung, I attacked, I did a ton of six security checks. Um, now I need a pass turn. Usually Quartzmon is like my go-to. Six Evo cost here when Digivolving. Suspend all other Digimon and all Tamers. Then for every two suspended Digimon and Tamers, gain one memory. Uh, generally, your, your field is going to be pretty stacked. You're going to have you know roughly four Digimon. I'll be generous and you know say four. And then two suspended Tamers. So that's going to put you at six. Your opponent probably has at least two. So that's eight. So you're gaining four memory back. Um, so making this a two Evo cost 
that's that's really nice. And then all turns, other Digimon, uh, other than this Digimon, all Digimon and Tamers don't unsuspend. So even if you pass turn with this Quartzmon, you basically lock your opponent down from being able to do hardly anything. They can promote from raising though and still do other stuff. So you got to be careful, especially against decks like War Greymon or really any Greymon deck that have just massive DP. You know, they can swing over this Quartzmon and that really sucks. And also, there's no protection. So if they just play an option card to pop this, uh, you know, you're just out your whole Evo stack and this guy. But, you know, you got your damage in with Bloom, so it's not too bad uh, of a trade there for them to force them to kill the Quartzmon or else they they lose. And so they're going to play this massive costed option and give you, you know, like six memory on your next turn to then combo off all over again because you still have all that other suspended stuff on your field that's going to now unsuspend and you're just going to full combo and, and Evo all the way back up into another Bloom all over again. So great defensive tool here, but if it survives, um, or if you're able to Evo into this, like you say you do your full Bloom Lord combo, um, everything's suspended, and you just Evo Quartzmon and suspend everything, and then gain more memory back, and then attack. When attacking, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers, then trash the top card of your opponent's security stack for every five suspended Digimon and or Tamers. So that adds up both your field and your opponent's field. You know, again, like I said earlier, you know, there's eight. Maybe you're going to get lucky and there's ten things um, that's on the field. If you had a really good turn uh, and it's like mid-game, then it's very easy to get that ten. And now they're trashing two security cards as you're swinging. Um... Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, like I said earlier, though, if if you full combo a Bloom Swing, you done you know at least three checks, and then you go Quartzmon to pass turn. Say they don't, they don't like you know they can't out the Quartzmon. It comes back to you. You just swing with Quartzmon again, trash the all the security they have left, and then you just win the game because they have no security. So. Really cool card. I just have it in here as a two of. You know, some people do it as a three of, um, but I, I just I couldn't fit it into the deck, honestly. Um, if Maybe if I wasn't running Grandel Soul, but you know me, i got to have at least two option cards that can take out and remove any threat, no matter the, the level. So if my opponent sticks a Quartzmon, I need a way to out that Quartzmon. So... Um, Grandel Soul, that's why you're in here. Uh, next up, we got Yoshino. Uh, so start of your turn, if you have two or fewer memory, set it to three. So memory fixer. Uh, your turn, when one of your Digimon digivolves into a Digimon with vegetation, plant, or fairy in its traits uh, by sp suspending this tamer, gain one memory. Uh, like I said earlier, if you have the Togemon, you can play her out for one cost, and then she's basically going to get you that memory back again off of this effect. So you got to basically cheat in a memory fixer for free so very 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 efficient card i would say um and then we have the new mimi next up uh, so we can play her for free off with that togemon effect on play reveal the top three cards of your deck add one digimon card with vegetation plant or fairy in uh, one of its traits among them to your hand return the rest of your deck so she is a searcher a three play cost searcher so a little bit better than um, Davis in a way. She's not a memory fixer, but your turn when an effect suspends a Digimon by suspending this Tamer, gain one memory. So not as good as Davis, perhaps, uh, but still very powerful, especially when we get to play her for free and we get to repeatedly for the rest of the game continuously gain that memory because we're always going to be suspending stuff of our opponents uh, or one effect suspended as a Digimon. So whenever we're suspending our own stuff, which we will do every single turn, we'll always gain that memory. So at worst, she is uh, she makes your one memory that your opponent chokes you at. You can almost get, always guarantee that you're going to bump it up to two uh, air quotes um, with this effect because she's going to gain you one memory more than likely. So, uh, but just the three of I just got the five tamers in here again. Very very tight. I felt pretty comfortable. The deck doesn't overly rely on having to have to have tamers. Um, it's not like all fours or, or other or like a burst deck, uh, burst mode deck where you have to have the tamers to do the things that you want to do. Like this deck can completely be absolutely fine without seeing any of its tamers and be a okay. Um, we also have options here that kind of help with that. We get that one HPD hidden potential discovered uh, makes one of your Digimon um, green Digimon Digivolves this turn. You may suspend one of your Digimon to reduce the memory cost dilution by five. Uh, it's a zero 
cost and it gives one of your Digimon Digisorption 5. That's basically what it's doing here is Digisorption 5 for a zero cost, extremely powerful. Again, going Hydromon or you can go Quartzmon, essentially a, a one Evo cost Quartzmon. Like, I think every game I've ever played where I was using this, like it's been a while, I used it in um, like Pyildramon um, when you go into uh, your dragon mode and you'd spit the two level fours out, you know, you do that for free and then you go full combo all over again a second time. Uh, if I ever had HPD in hand, I won that game. Like I've never lost a game where I had HPD in my hand. Uh, and security effect thankfully is added to hand. So you don't uh, l risk losing it. You do run the risk of bottom decking it though, because we have a lot of search cards here and the chances of bottom decking it are pretty high just because of the amount of searchers we have. But on the cases you don't, it is incredible. Uh, next, I got the new agility training in here. Uh, instead of the uh, memory boost cards, I just like the, the flexibility here. Of I can grab a tamer or I can grab an option if I need. So, you know, that's nice. And then the reduce the Evo cost by two. Um, with that delay effect, that's just as good as a memory boost in that situation for evoing, and it's for one play cost less. So, granted, the dig isn't as strong, but again, I don't have to worry about bottom decking HPD off of agility training. So uh, that's that's pretty nice. So I got three of those in here. Um, I would say this is personal preference here. This can very easily be memory boost if you so choose. I just really like agility training. I like a lot of the, the, the training cards. Very, very few cases where I would prefer a memory boost card over them just because these are so much more uh, memory efficient. If you just look at it from that that angle of two play costs instead of three, and they both, you know, both those cards, they essentially save you two memory. Um, why wouldn't you play the cheaper of the cards? So that's just my thoughts. Uh, and then finishing off the list here, I've got, of course, Grand El Sol. When you would use this card, if you have two or more suspended green Digimon in play, reduce the play cost by two. So it's a six play cost. Uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the bottom of their owner's deck. Uh, very powerful removal. Uh, bottom decking is probably uh, the most powerful removal in the game. If you look at it just from the standpoint of the opponent can't, if the opponent can't stop it, right? Like we're not talking about having the Omni protections or anything like that because, you know, usually Chaos Deg or Lone Key is like a better removal because they dodge so many protection effects that exist in the game. If you overlook that, if you overlook protection, Grand Del Sol is probably the best removal in the game because it bottom decks it. The opponent basically, that's it. They, they're not going to more than likely see that card again for the rest of the game. If you bounce it to hand, they can reuse it. If you throw it in security, your opponent gets a card in their security. Like, dang it. You still have to deal with it. Uh, and it's if you're using Grand Del Sol on it, it's probably got a big old DP and it's going to be hard to get over. So, you know, that can be frustrating. Uh, if you if it just deletes it and sends it to trash, uh, if, you, if you're playing against purple, they're probably getting that back. I can tell you that right now. They're probably going to get it back. Um, so... Just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, Grand El Sol bottom decking probably the most powerful. Uh, also, can only be can be a, a six play cost, which all the other removals on that scale are pretty much all locked into eight. Also, I like the flexibility. So you hit it in security. Um, say the opponent swings in, checks this with their big bad you know mega that they have. Okay, well, I'm going to suspend this other thing that you were planning to swing for game with, that, that rookie over there. That gets suspended, but then I'm going to go back, and for the second part of the effect, I can target something else as long as it's suspended. So I can split fire on this effect, and I really like that aspect of it. I think that's super good. Uh, but that is going to do it. Uh, another long one here. If you're still here at the end, I don't know how. Uh, you you made it this far and listened to me, but I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, you, just... You guys are great. Like literally, you, you make the the ads roll in, you know, and all that, and give me faith to keep making this content. Um, if you haven't already, somehow, some way, please like the video and subscribe. Uh, trying to hit that 5K before we get to Nats. 